Why did BMW choose a team of British small businesses and academics to design the next generation of inverters for their future battery electric vehicles? One of the things that the UK does very well, and particularly through programs um, sponsored by the Advanced Propulsion Centre, is accelerating these technologies. You have very, very dynamic small SMEs in the UK that can help accelerate those technologies into the platform. We don't want a five-year development cycle. We want to get those down to three years and actually bring those in earlier, because the earlier you bring those CO2 reduction technologies in, the earlier you're reducing CO2. The inverter converts direct current from the battery into exactly the right amount of alternating current that the motor needs at any given moment. But why was this the focus of the project? In a powertrain, so if you take motor, gearbox, and all the other parts, the inverter is more or less half of the cost of that. It's a very complex and very expensive part. In the inverter, there is one component that covers nearly half of the cost of that, that electronic. So you imagine a, a part that's several hundred euros and half of that cost is a single part. We, we have over two and a half thousand parts in there, but one of them is taking that cost. And we said, actually, that's why we focused on the inverter and for Workstream 2 on the power module, because for all of industry, we want to try and try and understand what a standard product would look like and say, actually, you need this, this size, you need this voltage and work it like this. The project used silicon carbide semiconductors working at 800 volts rather than the more typical 400 volts to allow faster charging, higher performance and greater efficiency. But there was also a focus on reliability and reducing manufacturing costs. If you can make the parts simpler, you reduce the cost, you improve the reliability and you make it more accessible. And that was very important in the project. The team were able to not only come up with a cutting edge design, but also build and test the hardware. That's where we also got really good reputation here. So that we're not only good at um, showing nice slides and coming up with good designs, but also showing that we can actually build it. We can put it on a test rig and the performance is where it should be. And I think that was really well received um, in Munich. Um, to show what's possible with such a small team. The feedback I get from Munich is that they're staggered that such a small team could deliver so much. And, and that was one of the strengths of the project. Besides working in a collaborative project together with a global OEM like BMW, the partners have seen additional benefits. The University of Warwick now has a world leading facility for testing power electronics. JLR, they've been quite impressed by the facilities we've built up and want to collaborate with us and it's also attracted in other companies like Wolfspeed. It's a big semiconductor manufacturer from the US. They've been to visitors and they like what they see. Custom Interconnect manufactured the inverter electronic assemblies. This has given them the expertise and facilities to attract new clients. Without FutureBev we wouldn't have had the vehicle in the first instance. Uh, to have accelerated the learning, to accelerate the knowledge, to bring in um, the equipment that's needed and the people, um, to then actually have a story to go and tell. So we're finding people are coming to us. And when I ask them, why or how have you heard about us? They'll say, you're on the Future Bet programme. Lyra and the compound semiconductor applications Catapult, who also worked on the project, have further strengthened the UK power electronics supply chain. We have a really strong portfolio of people within the UK supply chain who can support each of these steps. Um, huge amounts of understanding in the design for electronics and power electronics. And as this is such a changing field, really positions us fantastically to help include the UK supply chain in the emergent technology. Another objective of the project was to inspire and empower the next generation of power electronic engineers. One of the other things that's been rewarding for me on a personal level is the the intern program for us seeing these these people come in from university they're fairly green of course they've, they've been doing their studies and they understand it but bringing them in and training them for inverter specific topics and seeing them leave with that knowledge and the enthusiasm i see from the young people is, is really encouraging you know our students that coming out out of being involved with this project they just get snapped up by industry if you would like to find out more about how the Advanced Propulsion Centre is helping universities and SMEs collaborate with automotive manufacturers like BMW, visit apcuk.co.uk.